At my home in Clemson, South Carolina, where we run our business every Monday at an executive conference call, I share with the people in my company, it does matter how you live your life, period. These people have made a difference. Now, our team is growing. Over the next two years, many of you in this room will be called on to be a part of this. I trust. I trust that you will do your part when you're asked, and I thank you today in advance for that support. But I have more. Tom, come up here with me for a moment. In this envelope, I have a signed agreement from a fellow foundation trustee, Pike Pillar. Pike Pillar as a donor means you have pledged or given $1 million to this campaign. This brother is an 1983 initiate of Epsilon Delta at the University of North Texas. It's my pleasure and I am proud to introduce to you our newest pillar, Brent Ryan. Please stand up and let's say God bless you. That's a million more in gold. Um, Brent is, is one of the two newest members of our Board of Trustees. We do not call him a pledge. He, is, he, he has truly, uh, from, his, from our first meeting that he attended, uh, contributed of his wisdom uh, his, and, and, and his business acumen. And, and today, uh, totally unexpected, he has he has penned an agreement that adds another million dollars to the five million you just saw. And I'd like Brent to respond if he has anything. Tom, thank you, Joe, uh, all the members of the Foundation Board of Trustees, uh, Justin and Ryan. Uh, you know, this is an incredible organization. It's one of the most important organizations to me in my life. I came from a little West Texas town a dusty little place with no leadership skills, $300 in my pocket, and an old Buick. And without the leadership skills that I learned at Pi Kappa Alpha at Epsilon Delta, I'm convinced, men, I would not be here. You know, my brothers at Epsilon Delta helped me along. And the reason that I am so enthused about Pike University is because I see the things that we learned on an ad hoc basis now becoming formalized. And you talk about you know, paying it forward. You talk about bringing a brother forward. This program is going to be the most important thing that we've done as an organization. Uh, it's going to expand. It's going to mean that leadership is a formal training process. It's going to be the best in the entire Greek system. And, you know, I'm just fortunate to be in a position to help it along, and I'm glad to be a part of it. I'll tell you, you know, as, uh, as David said, you know, the people in this room are going to be your lifelong friends. They're the people that are going to mean the most to you. They're going to be people, the people that help you throughout your career. I've lived it, and gentlemen, I'm just happy to be in a position to give some of it back. So thank you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Come on. Now, Brent joins three other pillars who have pledged or given a million dollars to this fraternity. Those three other pillars, I'm going to ask you to let me introduce them and let's give them a round of applause. Tom Tiller, our president, Marvin Dennis, a trustee emeritus, and Ron Rorick, who is sitting somewhere. Ron's back over here. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers, let's say thank you to those three men.
Now, I am not sure we have this on the screen, but if we do, with your calculation and my help, that brings us to $6,037,265,000 that has been raised toward our $10 million gift. We promise you when we come together in two years, we will have successfully completed the $10 million campaign.